Here's a quick overview on final grades in Chalkable Classroom. So to get to the final grades pane, I click on grades, and then uh, I'll see my basic analytics for all of my classes. And to get to final grades, I start by choosing a specific class, and then I go ahead and click on final grades. So all of my terms are shown over here. And we can go ahead and click on any student to work on their individual grades. So let's work on Cecilia right here. So Cecilia, it looks like she has an a, a suggested average of uh, 75.92. Uh, now, we show uh, basically Cecilia's performance over the last semester. So we can see how she did with her homeworks, her assessments, um, any lesson plan items. And we show you the graph. So it looks like she actually really did well with the daily homework. She improved over time. Um, we can see a quick overview of her attendance record, so it looks like Cecilia was late and absent a little bit more than the class average over here. Looks like the class average is only one absent. Um, so I have my suggested average right here. Um, I can even see her discipline issues. So she had a few tardiness issues, failure uh, to follow appropriate directives, and refusal to follow appropriate directives. So um, I can add pre-programmed comments right here. Right, so shows improvement, um, and enter a custom comment right over here. Now if I want to uh, override the grade, I can go ahead and type that in right here. So let's say we'll give her an 80, um, and there you go. Once you're done with all of your students, uh, you get a really great picture of how everyone's doing. You click on post, and that is sent back, and your final grades are now complete.